It's the odd man in. Point Guard Skills Academy, you know, just trying to give back. Uh, I played a point guard role, so I thought I'd pass my knowledge of the game down to the younger generation. When, when I was growing up, there was, there was definitely more camps, you know, there was a Butch Carter camp, Vince Carter camp, so they were teaching you fundamentals of the game, you know, triple threat, jab step, you know, sweeps, and now it's just, there's just, I don't know, like social media is just taking over. It's just pretty much what you watch on YouTube and, and all right, I'm going to mimic that. And that's what I'm going to do instead of actually, you know, okay, I don't have a triple threat, so I'm going to work on triple threat. You know what I mean? This is where I grew up. This is where, you know, I played AAU. I felt like it was, this was the right spot for it to be the first year. I mean, and um, I'm hoping, you know, in the, in the near future, you know, we can move on to bigger venues, you know? Mm -hmm. But I thought this was perfect, perfect way to start. It's very important to have these point guards uh, look up and see these former point guards and learn from them and know what it is really to be a point guard. Nowadays with um, uh, team structures and, and the way it is in Canada, a lot of point guards are combos, you know? They're not setting things up, they're not running the show, they're not being a coach on the court do not pass first. So we got to really sh so show these kids what it is to be a real point guard. So it helps them to move on to the next level, to high school, to college, and a professional level, because college coaches are looking for those particular attributes that you need for a point guard. So you got to think about playing the right way at all times. And Alex is a, is a big fundamental guy. He, like I said, that pump fake that they've been talking about, I've never seen someone with a better pump fake than Alex. And I've looked up to Alex from when I was in high school and his point guard game and the knowledge that he's even taught me indirectly has been just big. Like I, I, I look up to him and he doesn't even know that, but I've looked up to him my whole life when I, from when I first saw him play, because I'm a little guard myself. As a small guard, you gotta be a point guard. You gotta be a point guard. You know, if you're not 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", you gotta be a point guard. And so Alex understood that early. You know, he developed a jump shot to make sure he can keep the defense honest. And he's been through many situations in, in high school, in AAU, in college, and professional, where he had to perform and be that point guard. So he has a lot to bring back at different levels at what he's overcome. All of these guys have been, you know, successful in, in their careers. And, you know, they've been part of that, that past first PG, you know? and they're part of the dying breed, you know, so we're trying to repopulate this breed, you know, and just, you know, these are the type of guys that, that knew exactly what they were doing growing up, and they knew the game, the pass first PG, so why not bring them, bring them on board? I want to see the kids walk away with them, an understanding of the game, a better understanding of the game, because the IQ is a big thing that's missing. A lot of these kids are physically gifted. You're seeing they're big, they're tall, they're fast, they're athletic, they're strong. And it's just like, what about your game? Like, where is your skills at? Where is your understanding of what, what needs to be done and when? You understand? The why factor. So, I mean, if these kids become students of the game, the job's, the job's done. Um, you know, it's good to learn from players like David Tyndale, Alex Johnson. You know, they've been through what we're trying to get to, right? So, I know Alex Johnson's been to Romania. He's playing pro um, university. York University, David Tyndale. Um, so you know, it's just good to learn from people who have been there before. Knowing your role, like nowadays, all point guards want to be a scorer. Everyone wants to score. But a point guard is someone that runs your team, knows how to pass, knows how to get guys open, and knows what to do at the right time. And also, being a point guard, you got to be mentally tough. You have to have character. You have to have poise. You have to have intellect. And he possesses all those things, so he's a great person to do this camp. Just, you know, from this year, this year playing the NBA, you know, it was good to see, you know, look at the box score and say, man, I had 15 assists. Like, that feels good, you know. You know, some people are like, man, I had 25. I feel good. Like, sometimes when I look, I'm like, man, that's an accomplishment. 15 assists, you got somebody, you got somebody else open. You got somebody else a bucket. That's huge. Basically, what me and my staff want to do is kind of just, just kind of just put the pathway for them, you know, say, 
This is the way you want to go. If you're trying to get there, here are the tools to get there. It's the odd man in.